Welcome back to Fallout 4. At the end of the last episode, we came out of Malden Center, where we found this wonderful rifle. And we also put on the scope, which I haven't really had a chance to test yet. But even without the scope, this rifle is beautiful, so I can only imagine the scope is probably going to make it even more awesome. This is the double shot rifle, the one that puts out two shots for every one shot. Which is like the perfect feature for a sniper rifle. It's awesome. So I can't wait to test that out some more. And of course, before the beginning of this episode, I dumped all my junk and stuff like that, cleared out my inventory and dog meat's inventory. But I also did some building. I built this bell, which apparently allows you to gather all the settlers to one place. Yes, they're coming slowly, without hurry, as if there's no emergency. But they are coming. So if you want to assign people different job positions and stuff like that, it's an easy way to make them all come to one place. That's cool. And you might notice I've built a settlement. Like an actual building settlement. It's super basic right now, but it's pretty kind of pretty cool looking, actually. It's all metal. The welcoming sheen of metal with a leaky roof. Oh yes, it's very homely. <laughs> Maybe metal wasn't the best thing if I wanted it to look homely. Maybe should have gone with wood. Yeah, this looks more like a... More like a military warehouse than anything, to be honest. I guess the work lights on the outside don't help with that. Oh, I've got a decently sized building. Single generator in here that powers all the lights. And we even have a fan. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't want to live in here either. But hey, it's something. I could put... Stuff in there. Things. Stuff and, and things can go in there. I could turn this into, like, a bunkhouse if we get more people. My old man taught me that duct tape could fix anything. Oh, that is fascinating. That is so fascinating, Sturgis. Alright, so we came from Malton Center before, and we got to Malton Center because we were on the way to Greentop Nursery, where we need to talk to these settlers there to see how we can help them out. So, let's go right back. Make our way over to the nursery. There's also that little place we found right next to Malton Center, the Slocum... Slocum something HQ. I don't think I checked that out. This place looks different in the daylight. I think last time I was here it was starting to get dark, I think? I'm not sure, I might be wrong about that. So Slocum's place is over here. Whoa, that looks weird. Something about that bush just doesn't look right. It looks blurry. It looks fuzzy. Makes me uncomfortable. Yes, this is Slocum's place. Oh, hey! Oh shit, I just shot dog meat in the back of the head. I'm sorry, dog meat. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. You're invincible. Don't worry about it. <gasps> I just got a dog collar. I think you can actually give collars to dog meat, and I think he'll actually wear them. Here, come back here. Come hey, here. over here. Come here. Oh, That would be apparel, right? Yeah. You don't appear to be wearing it. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Can I tell him to wear it? No. Never mind, boy. Heads up. Hold on. Is there some way I can... Uh... Oh, T-Equip. There we go! Yeah, look at that. Psst. Hold. It's kind of hard to get a look at it, because Dogmeat just wants to stare at me. But look at that. You got a collar, Dogmeat. 
cool. Let's go. Mmm, I just picked up 60-year-old toothpaste. You know, at first blush that sounded kind of disgusting, but actually, would 60-year-old toothpaste even be bad? Does toothpaste really expire? Office. Whoa, there's a level transition to his office. How big is the damn office? Spread out, <gasps> find him. Shit. This is not a good thing to use from this this range. <laughs> Combat rifles. I don't think I've seen those before. Useless pre-war monies. Slow comes Buzz Bites recipe. Ooh. I wonder if that's a quest item for somebody at some point. The recipe is a pad of blank paper. Indicating the emptiness of the nutritional value of the food item. to Slocum's Joe. Oh, and there's some of the bus bites. HP, HP minus 10, it actually hurts you. Oh my god. But it does raise your max HP, or uh, max AP, rather, and perception. So, bad for your health, good for your mm, activity. We should probably read that notice. Yes, yeah, see if we can read it. Uh, what would it be under? Miscellaneous? Dear Slocum, Slocum's Joe Inc., we regret to inform you that we will not be approving the distribution of your latest food prototype. Recent focus tests indicated a 90% chance of third degree burns from your hot coffee filled, chemically preserved donuts, or buzz bites. And as such, they cannot be deemed safe to the public. You are allowed to resubmit your request in a year, assuming you solve the noted issues. We look forward to doing business with you in the future and hope this does not hurt our relations. <laughs> Hot coffee filled chemically preserved donuts. Charles Winson. Chua. Hmm. So to have the recipe, does that mean I can actually cook it myself? Not that I'd really want to eat those, to be honest. I don't know. The thing is, though, I don't know how good plus 25 AP is. How much AP do I have right now? I actually don't know. That might be a huge bonus, or it might be a small bonus. I really can't tell. Is there some way to look at just, like, my stats? Like, a complete breakdown of my stats? That's, I think that's damage. Oh, AP, 135 out of 135. Okay, so plus 25 AP is like... 
15-20% increase in my total AP. Which is not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. And the minus 10 HP is easily healed. Could be useful. Really hard fight if I wanted some more AP to headshot some people or something. Hey, what is that? I think it's a mobile merchant. Mobile trader or something. Come back here! I want to trade! I have hot coffee filled chemically preserved donuts, although I don't think the coffee's hot anymore. Oh, look at that poor Brahmin. Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. Let me know if you want something. <clears throat> got armor at good rates if you're in the market. Uh, excuse me. Could you please stop rock walking in a circle? I'm trying to trade here. What kind of stuff do you have? I sell armor for Old Man Stockton's outfit, based out of Bunker Hill. Been selling armor to smart wastelanders for years. The dumb ones walk away empty-handed, but they don't stay dumb long, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, I get your meaning. You're saying if I don't give you money, I'm going to die. Interesting tactic to try to get me to buy your stuff, but I'm not buying it. I'll take a look, sure. My prices are firm. Haggling gives me a headache. I'm with you there. Champion's left arm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the first thing I did is I held down the shift key to try to compare it to my current piece of armor, as if this was The Witcher 3. But no, I forgot. This isn't The Witcher 3. This is Fallout 4. A game with a terrible UI. Ah... <sighs> I, I guess I just have to trust the plus 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 that it's a lot better than what I've got on. Hold on, though. I know the damage resistances are better, but what about the stats? Left arm, left arm. So right now I have the Martyrs. Temporary slows down time during combat when you're at 20% or less health. Okay, so much better resistance. And instead of that, I'm getting a just straight up plus one strength and plus one endurance. You know what? I think that's just better. Martyr's metal left arm might be able to save my ass if I'm really close to dying, but that's only going to take effect if I'm at 20% or less health, which is not going to be that often, to be honest. Whereas this is going to take effect all the time. Although, it's also really expensive. Like, holy shit is it expensive. That's going to cost like half my money. Wow, got lots of star items, look at that. Look at that. Okay, this... This is not great in terms of the stat. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, that's also 16,000! Fuck me. Those are obscenely expensive. Hmm. Shipping a ballistic fiber. I wonder if you can, like, get in the trade business. Start buying these shipments. Uh, right leg. What's my current right leg? Strengthened shadowed right leg. Okay, so my current right leg is nothing special. 5-9. This one's 8-13-10 plus the extra stat. That's damn good. I'm not going to be stingy with my money. I'm just going to spend it. I will take that. I will also take the champion left arm. That is going to leave me poor as hell. Wait, this special item is only worth 27 caps? Are you serious? It's nothing. I might as well keep it. Guess my haggling skill is garbage. I suddenly feel really poor. I basically never spent a dime, but... Just buying two pieces of armor is going to wipe out most of my money. Ah, oh, well. You can have these old gas mask. Anything else I want to give him? Nah. He does have good stuff. Gotta hand it to him. He's got some really good stuff. Let's put it on. Champion left arm. Don't 
don't even notice a difference, to be honest. But the stats are damn good. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. All right, back to what we were doing. Heading over to Green Top Nursery. Hmm, hmm, Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, dog meat. You just opened the chain link fence. I didn't even realize there was a there was a a, a fence opening there. It's called a gate. Well, it turns out I didn't even need to go in there anyway. <laughs> oh well. Oh hey, black blowfly. Fuck. Fuck. I'm dead. Cheese it! They've got a greenhouse. Should be able to get tons of plantables there. Have you heard anything about your cousin? Nothing yet. He's been missing so long. I don't think there's much hope. Damn. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't you worry. I'll find him. Everything is gonna be okay. If you ain't been up to see Grey <coughs> Garden, minute, you should go. Right? Whole place is run by robots. Grey Garden? Robots? That sounds good. But, uh, one thing at a time. The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. This game really doesn't have very good voice acting in general, does it? I'm noticing that more and more. At least the main character is really good. Her voice acting's good. But people in general, super spotty. I mean, I just, I keep comparing this game to The Witcher 3 in my mind. Like, The Witcher 3 has a massive cast, there's so many people to talk to, but I've never noticed a single person a single voice actor in The Witcher 3 that doesn't sound very good. Like, every one is solid. But in this game, the quality just isn't nearly as spot on. It's way spottier. Way more inconsistent. Are ghouls a common problem? Well, we're usually fine to deal with one or two, but more than that... Well... I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not terrible, but... Eh. Oh, I want the mute fruit, but it's stealing. Does that mean it's also stealing to take from the... Greenhouse? <gasps> no, it's not. Beautiful. an asshole. Oh no, I was going to leave them one fruit, but 
I accidentally took all of them. Excuse One thing me. you should know, stranger. Don't mess with that old insane asylum. <laughs> Even the raiders know better. Easy living, the saint. I like how it just gets marked on my map, even though she didn't tell me where it is. I'm glad, though, because I would have never found it otherwise. Alright, so where do I need to go now? Ah, oh, it's pretty close. Oops. There's the insane asylum over there. I wonder if that uh, Grey Garden place with the robots you mentioned, did that get marked on my map too? I don't see it. Ah well. To the ghouls. I going the right way? Yeah, both my marks are pretty close to each other. But this is the right one. The door symbol. On the compass. <sighs> Distress signal. Someone needs help. That's it? Hmm. Oh, distress signal strength. Oh! Gotta keep going in a direction until it gets stronger. Oh shit, lost. Okay. It's getting stronger. 45%. Stronger, stronger, stronger. It's a short range distress signal. Is it this building? Oh, is it you? Knight Varum. Yeah. That's a Brotherhood of Steel member. Battlefield holotape. Holotag, fusion cell, laser rifle, uniform. I need to check out that holotape. And maybe report back to the Brotherhood of Steel place. Might be interested in uh, the tag. Might be grateful if I give it back to him. Oh shit. Rads. It's fused solid. Burned out power armor. This one too. Wow. What happened here? Let's take a look at that hollow tape. It's the hollow tag. What the heck was it called? There it is. Oops, I didn't mean to try to drop it. Self-destruct. 
Ferris, fall back. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move! Okay, so I need to go to where they're talking about where they were going to go. See if I can find the rest of them. See if they're still alive. The Lost Patrol. Oh, that's... Is that where I was going anyway? That is where I was going anyway, isn't it? Yeah, National Training Yard. National Guard Training Yard, yeah. Alright, two quests for one place. Convenient. place looks awfully big. See, a turret. Multiple turrets. No signs of life, though. Three turrets. Body on the roof. Old body, not a new body. Hmm. I think I'll pick off the turrets from here. Let's not waste any good ammo, though. Oh, shit. Hey! They heard me. God, this gun feels so good to use. Level 13. Power armor. I still don't really want to use power armor, to be honest. Okay, well, I know what I want to spend my points on. I'm still going for the sniper thing. Yep, so let's put another point into that. Non-automatic scope rifles have a chance of knocking down your target. I guess I'll get into it for now, just because it's been so long. I want to remember what it was like. I doubt I'm going to need it, though. Ooh. Glad that thing's deactivated. Whatever the hell it is. It's like a super strong war bot. What'd you find? What'd you find, oh. Dogmeat? What? What? Ooh, good find. Marksman's powerful pipe rifle. It's upgraded. I'll take it. Don't stand on the railing, Dogmeat. It's unsafe. Distress signal found. Oh, another one. So they must be inside. Ooh. 
I'm trying to remember what these things are called. I remember seeing them in Fallout 2. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, Vertibirds or something? Oh, another turret. <laughs> this gun is a beast. Might be more ghouls around. Or more turrets. You know what? I just don't like this suit. Whoops. I pressed all the wrong keys. Just so slow and clunky. It's really cool if I want to fight like one big enemy, but just for general exploring. Nah. Before I enter, I want to check all the side buildings. I see you. Okay, I think we're good to enter now. Uh, let's go. Hmm? Heard a ghoul. Oh, there you are. National Guard Recruitment Office. Dog meat. You must take my things. Heads up. I can take my special items to the ones that I unequipped. There we go. <laughs> ah, I was miss. <laughs> Legendary Feral Ghoul Reaver. Did I just kill it? In like two shots? Not sure why they'd make legends about a reaver that can be killed in two shots. It's a lame legend. There once was a ghoul who could be easily killed. Also, that. That is um, a hunk, a couple hunks of meat from the legendary feral ghoul reaver. <laughs> Come back, I want to loot you. Stop moving, troubleshooter's leather, right arm, take that. Reduces damage from robots by 15%. Q. And a toothbrush. That's really creeping me out. Ew. It's the... Oh, it's the leg. It's the leg that came off of it.
trifold American flag. What am I gonna do with that? Security's too good. Oh, there's another body. Knight Aslan's holotape. And I just stripped her of all of her clothes. That's kind of creepy, I'm sorry. Now we need to go check out the satellites. Let me see if the armor that I got is any better. Oh, right, and I've also got the black room glasses. Let's put those on. So instead of perception, I get charisma. Yeah. I'll take that. Worth it of steel uniform. Um, not that good. Chest piece is a hell of a lot better than what I've got on right now, actually. That's compared to this, right? 14.7. Oh yeah, it's better. Except it is significantly heavier, but I'll take it. I want to take a look at the glasses. There we go. It's a pretty cool looking. You know, I think I'm going to take the bandana off. It makes it too hard to see her face. Yeah, it's purely a visual thing. It doesn't actually give you any stats, so no harm in taking it off. There we go. My character has a face. Yeah. I like the glasses. They're kind of cool. Not my favorite style, but they're fine. Check upstairs. That's it. I just saw a... Uh, there it is. National Guard Officer's Password. Okay, don't need to hack the computer now. Sweet. Because my hacking skills are terrible. <clears throat> Almost missed you, little stash.
Oh, shit. Please take out your gun. Thank you. Well, that scared me. I was not expecting that ambush. So this gives us access to the barracks. Oh, what the? How did I come through the door, but somehow they were behind me? some food. Got some grilled stuff. Grilled rat roach. And crispy squirrel bits. There we go. There's all these little, all these little scenes throughout the wasteland. Like this skeleton with its head off, some cigarettes around it. A little story. Not much of one, but a little story of some sort. Someone smoked to sell themselves to death as they died of radiation or something, or right before the blast or something. Armory management terminal. Already got the password for this too. Good. Just open a door somewhere. You're okay, you're okay. Get up, boy. Is that a legendary down there? Oh! Glowing one. Somehow it's floating in midair. Don't question it. It's fine. Let's do a crit. Yeah! Oh no, you're hurt again.
Those whining noises when it's heard are so sad. Yes, if you noticed there, when I was doing the fast shots with this gun, I was knocking the ghouls down quite a bit, and that's because of the, the skill point that I put into the sniper perk. What are you doing to find physics dog meat? There is another little scene in the wasteland. Skeleton that died on the toilet. Something knows we're here. I saw you down there. Irradiated blood. Nuclear material. Look at the way it glows. Look at the way its glowiness awkwardly resets after a couple seconds, when it restarts the cycle. Oh, dog meat, come here. Psst. Don't howl, we're trying to avoid the enemies hearing us. Difficult to detect while sneaking. That's a big ass carrot. Look at that thing. Looks like it's got freaking talons on it, too. It's like a barbed carrot, a chubby barbed carrot. Gun. Does 50% more damage against animals. Oh, that's sad. What kind of crazy person would go around punching animals with boxing gloves? That's weird. I think that's it for this place. Check back here, right? Yeah. So I cleared it out for the Settler's Quest. Mm -hmm. Now we need to go check out the Satellite Array. Now is it the Satellite Array that's just right next to this place? That I saw maybe a couple hundred feet away?
please let me out. Thank you. Yeah, so the satellite array. Yeah, it's the one that's just right next to here. Over that way. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go explore the satellite array.